up, people of the internet, and welcome back to Channel Baseball. I'm basically saying hello to 19 people who have subscribed to me. So, thank you for subscribing. And yeah, so, this video has been very boring. I'm going to show you how to make a good quesadilla. And yeah, let's get started. The things you will need are a pan. I need a very small pan. And my mom is currently getting more pans because she's making them. But I am currently making them for myself because I am in the mood for quesadillas. But she's making dinner for everyone else, I guess. I'm not having dinner tonight, but I am. I'm having quesadillas. So, got you need a pan, guys. If just make a plain cheese quesadillas. Uh, well, I really, 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 really want more stuff in my quesadillas. But I don't have any good stuff. So, I'm just using a pan. Some Mexican cheese. Mexican cheese, or cheese blend, I don't know. But some, some good cheese. Let's see what else. You can even home make the little, the... The tortillas, which this is what, flour, flour, butter, water, salt, and baking powder. Not baking soda, baking powder, yep. And then it turns into this. I made this quite a long time ago, like a couple days ago. And then I didn't want to wash it because it was taking forever. And it, was, it took literally like over two hours to make this. So I suggest just find some at your local store. And that's what I did. And now, I'll actually show you how to make them, what I'll do right now. So, if you are making your tortillas, just flatten them out and put, your, put them on your pan right now. But if you are having some nicely organic, pre-made, smells great tortillas, pop one on your pan. I took a very extremely small pan, but I don't really care. I also forgot to tell you, where is it, where is it, where is it? You need a spatula, guys, or a pancake flipper or whatever. I call it quesadilla flippers. So you need that. And so put your tortilla in your pan. And you also need the stove, guys. Okay, so how do you open this? It says tear here. It's pointing to the air. Tear here. And then I pull it that way. <laughs> this makes no sense. So I'm just going to try and... Do it my way. My way works. Their way do not. Okay, got some Mexican for cheese blend. Wait, that one's cold. Mexican style for cheese blend. Then put that right on top of your tortilla. I have no idea what I'm doing. So once you have a good amount, to take it all. Whoa, my cheese is still flat. And then you take it all. Then Fold it, and then fold it, and then put it back, and then dump all the extra cheese on your tortilla bag thing. Okay, so put your full quesadilla down, and then turn your stove on to about maybe medium hot. So let me do your cooking. How do you like cooking with Abby? I like it. I love it. Whoa, 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 that lighting. Okay, my quesadilla is done. It looks great. And while I wait for it to cool down, you guys will. What, what, are, you, what are you guys gonna do? Well, I am wait. Well, I am waiting for it to cool down. You guys are going to watch some SpongeBob. Go watch some SpongeBob and be happy. Peace out. How'd you like watching Spongebob? Was it good? I bet it was. Right now I'm currently slapping my quesadilla. That's extremely hot. Still, look, it worked. Those melted cheese. And it's going to be very hot on my lips, so get ready for a lot of wild stuff. Headphone users, take your headphones off right now. Ready? Eight out of ten, pretty good. I love it. Well, that's all for you. That's all for you guys. Yeah, 
I'm getting my words mixed up because I'm in heaven with this food. Well, that's all. Please subscribe and bye.